Alrighty, this is my Mega Mix 4 Look Last Layer Guide Part 1, which is going to be the edge and corner permutation. The majority of these cases are actually quite simple to learn, there are a couple kind of tricky ones to recognise, but otherwise I'd highly recommend that you learn all of these algorithms on all of these cases, and I will provide some alternatives as well, alongside how to recognise them and how I would execute them. A prerequisite to this video is knowing your Megamix finger tricks. So it's especially important to know how to finger trick your Megamix correctly as there's a lot of YouTube, YouTube Prime and Eidos or Beidos that might come in handy when doing Megamix last layer. If you don't know how to do that, I highly recommend you check out my Megamix finger tricks video here from beginner to advanced, then coming back to this one. One term that I will use quite frequently in the corner permutation part of this video is the term headlights. Essentially where you have two corners that are matching and the edge isn't matching in between. It's the same as headlights on a 3x3, these are classified as headlights, these are headlights, these are headlights, this is just a U-perm. Same on Megaminx, two matching corner stickers with a non-matching edge in the middle. Firstly we have the edge permutation cases, these are quite easy and there's only five of them. First one is this, where you have this edge and this edge solved, and this edge needs to rotate around clockwise, so this edge comes over to the left here. What you need to do for this algorithm is a R2, U2 prime, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U2 prime, R2 prime. Quickly, it looks like this. And again, recognition for this one is really simple as it's just this edge needs to go over here. The next edge permutation case is where this edge does not need to go over here and in fact this edge needs to come over here so it's an anti-clockwise rotation so what you need to do for this case is a r2 u2 r2 prime u r2 u2 r2 prime and the new edges are solved the next case is also quite simple it is simply a j perm where you have this edge and this edge solved and this edge needs to go over to the back here, so it's a clockwise rotation or clockwise cycle of these three edges here. All this case is is a J-perm on a 3x3, so this algorithm here, except it's translated over to Megamix. So again, this edge needs to come over up here. All you need to do is a R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime. There's no AOF from this algorithm. And quickly, the alg looks like this. Finally, we have this case here where it's the same as the previous with these two edges solved, except this three edges need to cycle counterclockwise. So this edge here needs to go up into here. What you need to do is a R, U, R prime, U, R prime, U prime, R2, U prime, R prime, U, R prime, U, R, U2 prime, and that's the full algorithm. So you'll notice at the end, these two edges that were here will come up to the top here, so you can predict AUF that way. So quickly, the algorithm looks like this. And for the final edge permutation case, we only have one edge solved, and there's no other adjacent or opposite edges that are solved. So you'll see the orange is solved here. If I do a U move, this pink one becomes solved here, but nothing else is solved. If I do another U move, this aqua one is solved here, but nothing else is solved. So what you need to do is you can do this from any angle and this one in the back right will stay the same. So all you need to do from any angle is an L, R, U2, L prime, U, R prime, L, U prime, R, U2, L prime, U2, R prime. You could also do it without using the table or table abusing. What you could do is something like that. Although I think in my opinion that the table abuse is actually pretty okay for that specific case. Some other mega mixes might disagree. So now we move on to the slightly larger amount of cases, which is the corner permutation. Firstly, we have the two corners solved cases for where we have only two corners solved and three corners need to be cycled around to solve the corner permutation. What you need to do for this case here, two solved in the front and then the left here, headlights on the back here like so, and th these three that need to get cycled around. So I recognize it by having the headlights here. So all you need to do for this case is kind of rotate up here. So this is becoming your use face and this is your D face. R prime, U prime, R U R prime, D prime, R U prime, R prime, 
UD at the same time if R. So it quickly it looks like this. And now for the inverse of this case, which is the same, you have these two corners solved, but there's no headlights here, instead the headlights are on your right. Rotate up to the same position again, and it's just the inverse of the first one. So what you need to do is a R prime, U prime, D prime, R, U, R prime, D, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. Quickly, it looks like this. The next two cases are also three corner cycles, except this corner and this corner are solved, which are opposite each other rather than adjacent. So for these two cases here, I have two algorithms to show you guys and you can kind of pick and choose to see which one you prefer. So firstly, there's this case here where you kind of have headlights here or you recognize it by this corner needing to come down to this position here. The first algorithm goes like this. B prime, R prime, U, L. U prime, R prime, U, L prime, U prime, R2, B. Some people might find the L moves a little bit cumbersome. So for this case, you can also kind of rotate over to this spot here. And instead you would recognize it by these two kind of disjointed headlights. And there's this alternative algorithm here. R prime, U2 prime, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, U2 prime, R. Now for the reverse or inverse of this case is where you have these uh, opposite corners solved here, but this corner does not need to come down here. Instead, it's going counterclockwise. So it's a counterclockwise cycle. So what you can do is a reverse of the first algorithm and it goes like this. B prime, R2 prime, U, L. U prime, R, U, L prime. U prime, R, B. As an alternative, so again, this is a counterclockwise cycle. You can kind of rotate over here and you'll see there's no disjointed headlights. So what you can do is the reverse of the first alternative case, which is this. R prime, U2, R prime, F prime. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F. R, U, R prime, U2, R. So quickly, it looks like this. Not the most elegant algorithm. It's probably one of my least favorite corner permutation cases. Next, we move on to the cases where only one corner is solved, and these cases are actually quite nice. The first one here is where you have the corner solved on the bottom left, and you see headlights here and headlights here. All you need to do is rotate over or do a U move, and the algorithm is really simple. It goes like this. L prime R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, LR prime. Quickly, it looks like this. The next case here is where you have no headlights and this corner needs to be swapped with this one. This corner needs to be swapped with this one. So all you need to do for this case is a R2, U prime, R prime, U prime. Then you rotate over with a Y. R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. Then you can rotate back R, U prime, R2 prime. An alternative finger trick to this case that I've been using as of recent is this where you start off the same, rotate over, and instead of rotating back to solve this pair back into the slot here, what I do is a F, U prime, and then F2 prime like so. So quickly, it looks like this. And for the final single corner solved case, we have uh, this case here, where it's quite recognizable actually, where you have these two that swap, and these two that swap. R, U, R prime, U. R prime, U prime, R. F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime. So a sexy move. R prime, F, R, so sledge. R prime, U prime, R prime. So you're inserting that pair into here. Then R prime, U, R. So quickly, the algorithm looks like this. Finally, we move on to the corner permutation cases, which have no corners solved. The first four cases have five headlights. So headlights here, headlights here, headlights here. So for this case, this color matches with the edge here. So these corners need to be cycled around counterclockwise. What you can do is a R prime, D prime, R, U, R prime, D, R, U, R prime, D prime, R, U, R prime, D, 
R u r prime d prime, R u r prime d r. So this is actually just a commutator. And we also have the opposite case, which is the exact same, but instead of u moves, you do u prime. So in this case, you do a r prime, d prime, r u prime, r prime, d, r u prime, r prime, d prime, r u prime, r prime, d, r u prime, r prime, d prime, r u prime, r prime, d, r. For the next two cases, we have five headlights again, but they uh, need to be rotated around two positions. So for this corner, it needs to move around one, two. This corner needs to move around one, two. This corner needs to move around one, two. You get the idea. For this case here, you can recognize it two ways. I kind of use a combination of both when recognizing. So you can see that this color here, this aqua color, needs to go up to the back left, or that this edge here matches these two headlights on the right here. So what you can do for this case is a R2 prime, U2 prime, R2, U, R2 prime, U, R2, then do a Y rotation, so you rotate over this way, R2, U prime, R2 prime, U, R2, U2 prime, R2 prime, and then a U as the AUF. And now for the opposite case, where these headlights match this edge here, or the headlights color on the front, so this aqua, needs to go to the back left. So what you can do for this case is R, U2, R2 prime, U, R2, U prime, R2 prime, Y prime, so you rotate over this way, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U prime, R2 prime, U2, R2, then U prime. So for the next two cases, you only have two headlights. So for this first case here, I recognize it by having a headlights here and looking for any adjacent colors and looking for any adjacent edge color. So this adjacent edge color is the orange here. If you look at this one, it's over opposite over here. So knowing this, I know that this is gonna have to be on the left. So I rotate it up to the back here. So there's headlights here, orange here, and headlights on the right with the corresponding color on the opposite face. So what you do is a R2, U2 prime, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U2 prime, which is actually part of our first edge permutation case, which is a three cycle, but then you cancel into what would be a three by three T perm. So you go into R prime, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. So again, it's just our edge three cycle algorithm, R, U2 prime, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U2 prime, R prime, then cancel into a T perm. Now for the other case where I have this headlights here and these headlights here, and I wanna look for an adjacent edge. So this green headlights here, the adjacent edge is not adjacent, it's actually opposite. So that's not the edge pair I'm looking for. Here we are, these are headlights here, this tan color, and then this tan color over here. So you'll notice if I move it up to the top here, if I had it in the same position, it's to its right rather than being to its left. So I bring the headlights over to the front like so, there's this edge adjacent to it on the right, and then this headlight is up in the back here. So for this algorithm, it's a little bit different. It's a R prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R, U2 prime, R prime, U prime, R, U2 prime, R prime, U, R, U2 prime, R prime, U, R. When I first learned this algorithm, I more or less thought about it actually as the F to L pair that was kind of being broken up, then paired back together, then reinserted. If you're looking at it that way, it's kind of a R prime, U2, R, which takes it out here, U prime, then you break it up, R prime, U2, R, which brings the edge over here. U2 prime, just bring it over, and then you insert the edge, R prime, U prime, R. Then you do a U2 prime, and then you would pair it up like so, R prime, U prime, R. Then do another U2 prime to reinsert the S to L pair. Finally, we move on to our last two cases where we have no corners solved and no headlights. For this case here, I'd like to thank James McDermott for his video. Um, it's a very 
I was scratching my head for quite a while as to how should I recognize this case because you know there's no real point of reference here. Here's a diagram of it and you'll notice that some of the corners move across and some of the corners move adjacently. So in this case here we have this corner that needs to move adjacent to the right spot and this corner that needs to move adjacent to the back right. And you'll notice like if you look at any other corner they need to move across two spots. So this one needs to come over here, this one comes over here, and this one comes over here. So once you've found an adjacent corner to where its actual spot is meant to be, look for that one and then also look for the other one and then you can execute the algorithm. So for this case here, this corner needs to come to the right and this corner needs to come to the back right. And all you need to do is this, R2, U2 prime, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U2 prime, R2 prime. And you'll notice that's just a cancellation of one of our earlier edge three cycle algorithms. You'll notice when I execute this algorithm, I do a lot of U moves to do the pinch, R2, U2 prime, R prime, U prime, R2, then a pinch to do the U, another pinch to do the U, R2, U2 prime, R prime. And for the final case where the, this corner needs to go to the left and this corner needs to come down to the right and the other corners don't move adjacent to the adjacent spots, all you need to do is this. R2, U2, R2 prime, U, R2, U prime, R2 prime, U, R2, U prime, R2 prime, U, R2, U2, R2 prime. So quickly, that looks like this. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any alternative algorithms that you like to use in the comments below if you're a more experienced Megaminxer. Let me know if you want to see more Megaminx algorithm videos just like these. Hit like and get subscribed, all that good stuff. Use code Ari at speakeepshop.com. Check out this sub one Megaminx video for you to get faster. Or if you haven't already, check out this Megaminx finger tricks video for you to finger trick the Megaminx more efficiently. Thanks for watching.